Good morning, First Presbyterian Church family. This is for April 20th. It's Thursday, and I'm actually recording it first thing in the morning. I've, I've heard we may be getting some weather this afternoon, and so I wanted to go ahead and record this morning versus uh, usually when I do a record on Thursdays, it's in the, in the afternoon. Uh, and um, life did not work out to record yesterday, so Thursday thoughts on Thursday. Uh, not always as common. I've parked here. I'm at the uh, Florence Ranch Homestead and uh, on Barnes Bridge Road, and I have driven on either side of this road. I don't think I've ever driven down this road. Uh, or if I had, it was a couple of years ago. It was one of those things, oh, I've never seen this before in town or still very new. Uh, want to share, my theme for Easter Tide is to look at some of the prophets and to uh, and some of this may come out in some sermons uh later uh, after we go through our series in romans i think i'm looking at some some bits from the, the prophets uh so some of this may come out later and uh then simply a prayer of gratitude a prayer of praise really focus on that and i'll just step back to the car because i have my bible and my prayer book on the, on the hood of the car Zephaniah is our prophet, uh, to which I want to make some observations today. He is what they call one of the minor prophets, simply because the books were small, and there was actually one scroll, and there were like 12 prophecies all put together, so sometimes called the 12 prophets. And he's interesting in that uh, he's uh, like a great-grandson of a good king. And so he is of the extended royal family, and um, part of the aristocracy, the nobility of the, of the area. Um, it shows that sometimes the prophetic voice comes from uh, inside. There's this image that a prophet is on the edge of society and uh, down and out or kind of the edges. And uh, sometimes uh, the prophetic voice actually comes from somebody more inside the operation. Isaiah being a prime example of that. Jeremiah being more somebody on the outside and more, and I even in case of somebody like a Jeremiah, because he said what he said, that made him part of the outside. He may have been more inner, maybe not inside, inside, but uh, maybe more Midland before. All that said, Zephaniah, uh, cousin of the king, and there have been several evil kings, and then there's a period of revival, and so I believe that he spoke uh, to that time of Josiah's revival. And uh, that was kind of the last to rob anything good in Judah. All that said, um, he is an, an aristocrat. Uh, he's an insider and giving the voice of the Lord. And there's one piece I want to share. And I'm walking back to the car to get to it. There's really two pieces. Zephaniah chapter 1, verses 5 and 6. I'm not going to read them but I'm going to reference it. it. really talks about how they have gotten away. And it starts actually with people with false gods, where they've mixed their worship of Yahweh with the worship of false gods. They have turned their back on God and have not been seeking the Lord, not been seeking Yahweh. Now, I thought it was interesting that it that really goes to the conclusion. If you trace it back, I mean, he gives it one particular order, but if you start with his fourth item as the first, First, they don't seek the Lord. And that's kind of a hard, can be a hard word for us in situations. Did you really seek the Lord? And you go from like passively not seeking the Lord to actively turning your back. And I've seen that in some situations in, in life there where they're just, they've totally turned their back from any kind of walk with the Lord. And then from there, it's the mixed worship. And now at the time which Zephaniah is speaking, the person might give a prayer to Yahweh but also prayer to Baal. I want to cover all my bases. Uh, mixing. So it's, and there are ways that we mix our worship today to finally, let's just forget Yahweh and go totally for Baal or whatever our modern day Baal happens to be. Uh, I just, again, I thought it was slow, slow way. There's a song a group did called Slow Fade where it is um, a slow walking away. In fact, I even heard one person say, nobody falls away from the faith. They walk away one step at a time, and we just see the final product. And again, I think 
some pastors have had moral failings. I think there have been issues going on for some time. We just saw the final stuff. So this is something that can apply in many respects. And then in chapter 2, different prophecy, but talks about three things. Again, seeking the Lord. So the first case, the guy or gal, uh, they're saying the people, they have passively not sought God. And then they turn their back. So here, let's go to that same point. Seek God. Seek the Lord. Seek righteousness. Seek humility. And righteousness, really, to me, I just see that as seeking to do the right thing by people. Seeking what is the right, right way, right, right fair play. And humility. And humility is not trashing yourself. Uh, somebody compliments you on your singing. A compliment that I'll never get. But uh, it's okay to say yes. Thank you. Uh, but being aware of who we are and who God is. Um, a proper understanding of ourselves. Uh, not this lifting up. Just a few thoughts from Zephaniah. I think I'm going to work on this some more. And uh, again, you might hear this uh, a couple of months from now. In a sermon series. I want to conclude with a prayer. This is not mine, uh, but as I said, I'm picking these prayers. I'm not saying who does it, just so that you can hear it, the prayer for what it is. We give you thanks, O God, for those who mean so much to us, those to whom we can go at any time, those with whom we can talk and keep nothing back, knowing that they will not laugh at our dreams or our failures. Those in whose presence is easier to be good. Those who by their warning have held us back from mistakes we might have made. Above all, we thank you, Jesus Christ. And we thank you for Jesus Christ, Lord of our hearts and Savior of our souls, in whose name we offer this thanksgiving. Amen. And y'all have a great day. Bye.